way it started was really pretty pathetic, looking back on it. They had no excuse for the behavior or the things they said. Perhaps it was meant to fail from the beginning. Maybe it was inevitable. Perhaps they were destined to fuck it up. Even without the late night binges on donuts and cocaine, he was destined to turn into nights spent in separate rooms at opposite ends of the same apartment. Up late, watching TV, or passed out under down covers and silk pajamas, alone. Comfortable, but alone. Having broken down conversations about nothing. Staring out the window, talking to no one about nothing. Watching things slip, passions fail. Watching themselves disappear into the deluded visions of madmen. Some said they were elite. Aloof. Out of touch. Those who remembered them said these things. But what happened is hard to say. No one knows the real story. This could be fiction. But it's not, really. It started when Eddie met Joel. It started when the night stretched out into eternity, and a sound came bouncing back that made no sense. It started by accident. This is how it started. shopping cart bump up against his ass. Hmm. Eddie watched as Joel bent over the trunk of a Camaro in the parking lot and he lost track of time. He zoned out staring at those perfect globes. It's as if he went into a trance. And when he awoke from it, his shopping cart had slipped out of his grip and rolled into Joel's ass. Eddie was looking at Joel. Joel was looking at Eddie. What happened next is obvious. Joel punched Eddie in the face. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Eddie kissed Joel on the lips. <laughs> and that's how their love affair began. They had a passionate beginning. An auspicious beginning. A memorable beginning. Let's have a sitcom. It can be called Friends. That's taken. Let's buy a car. Okay. I don't want a car. Oh. Do you want to kick somebody's ass? No. 
I do. Okay. You are so easy. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Okay. See? Yeah. So what? Do you know where we are? Yeah. Good. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. What? I don't know. Whatever we're doing? Yeah. I want to. Are we okay? Yeah. Of course. Good. We are? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Right. I think I love you. I think I love you too. How do you know? It's just something I can sense. Really? Yeah. It's cliche, but I just feel something painful when I look at you. That's beautiful. I feel something painful when I look at you too. It's like I don't notice other people as much. I feel like other people don't notice us either. Yeah. Like we are our own universe. It's amazing. Let's do something important. Like what? I don't know. Go shopping? Shopping? That's not important. It's important to our economy. <laughs> uh, I thought you meant something important to mark this moment. Oh, I did. <laughs> right. Maybe we should get tattoos. Or bleach our hair. Or get married. Maybe we should quit our jobs and leave the country. Or we could steal something. Or bash in a car window. Just anybody's car? Yeah. Random act of violence. I like that. Random act of violence. Yeah. But not a car. No. Cars are expensive. Right. A mailbox. <laughs> that might be romantic. Yeah. Maybe it should, it should be violence against a person. Oh. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. I don't know if I can. Me neither. But I want to. Yeah. I want to sometimes too. Then maybe we should. Okay. I think we should beat each other. Whoa. Come on. Mm. Could be fun. We could spend the night in the hospital next to each other. Hospital? Yeah. We'd be like newborns, born on the same day, on the same floor of the same hospital, and laid down next to each other to sleep forever. Two babies. Yeah. I like that. <laughs>